dig this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to New Master the Riff. Today we're going to be looking at All Lips and Hits by Electric Boys. Now, have you ever heard of Electric Boys? They're, I would say, slightly underrated uh, kind of rock band from Sweden, late 80s, early 90s type of thing. They had a really kind of funky, psychedelic kind of tinge to their their songs. And All Lips and Hips is one of their, uh, their hits, basically, and it has a really, really cool riff in it. So first thing you need to do is make sure we're in tune. Now, the recording of it is slightly sharp. It's actually about 25 cents sharp. What I've done is I've brought everything into standard tuning, but we do need to make sure we're in drop D. So what we have here is a low D string. And then standard tuning from there on in. So we get A, and D, and a G, and a B, and then that high E string. Okay. Now the whole riff is uh, based around this little kind of movement of um, inverted power chords and power chords in the A and the D strings. And you've kind of got this thing going on in the A string. So the opening little phrase um, goes like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a palm mute in the low D string. Then I'm going to play this inverted B power chord. So what I've got here is my so it's a G power chord, sorry. I've got my first finger on second fret A string, and my fourth finger is on fifth fret the D string. Then what I do is I slide the first finger up to the third fret to play a C power chord. So I've got my first finger on the third fret, my pinky stays where it is. So that's your first little combination. Then from here, I play the low D string again, and then I slide up from a C to a D power chord. So together those two bits go. Okay. Then I kind of repeat that, I go back down here and do my little inverted G to C thing again. Then I end it with that first chord. So that last bit goes. Then I play the, the D string, then that uh, G chord there. So the whole thing again slowly. Okay. And watch out if you're muting here. Um, you can hear that that cuts dead. Obviously in the song there's a little kind of gap there, then you have a now dig this and then the main riff kind of kicks in. So watch out that you get your, damp your dampening down there. So I use the right hand. Adds the kind of punchy, kind of funky vibe of it. Now after the now dig this, we have something that goes. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I've got my little uh, palm mute D string again. And I'm going to slide the first finger, second to third fret again, so it's the same as we did before. And I slide uh, C to D power chord. And this is where it changes. So what I'm doing now is I go back to my little inverted G. Instead of sliding up, I slide up and then back. And then I use this middle finger to do a little kind of bend on the the, e string, well, the D string there at the third fret, this little bluesy bend. So that last bit goes, uh, okay, now we don't go, which would be the natural resolution of this, we cut it short, so that's a little bar that's kind of about 3-4, it just kind of cuts short to get the momentum, and then the main riff actually starts. So the main riff is basically that for the first bar. So a lot of similar stuff here. What I'm going to do is low D string, slide again, second to third uh, fret with that first finger, C to D again. Then from after this I do that again. So it's kind of like the very first riff we did in the intro, but then we have this bit that goes. So I've got a, that inverted G power chord, then a little gap because it's a staccato note, and then I play a D power chord up here at the 5th fret of the A string, 7th fret of the D string. Put a bit of vibrato on that if you want. So if I play that first bar slowly, it goes like this. Note the gap there as well, that you don't have any low D string. Okay, a little bit faster. 
Okay, second bar, pretty much the same. And that's the difference there. So we have a little two to three, a little C to D. Then we go back and we do that thing that we did in the, the three, four bar, we go. So slide up, back. And I've got my bend with the middle finger, third fret D string. But this time we play the, the low D string to resolve it. So that second bar goes. Okay, so that's your two bars of the riff. That basically repeats twice. So if I play that, play those four bars, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so that's it. So it's a really cool riff. It's got this kind of nice uh, rolling kind of sensation to it because the, the thing going on with the, the D string and then power chords and then the, the D strings. So it's really cool. It's got a nice kind of funky vibe to that tune as well. So if you've not heard it before, I recommend you check it out. Just look on YouTube and you'll be able to find the official video for it and stuff. Okay, so have fun with that. And as usual, if you want to see any riffs or any lessons or whatever, just let us know below in the comments. Uh, but I'll be uh, coming out with another couple of riffs soon. Um, so as usual, if you want to keep up in touch with that, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, check out uh, Master Guitar on Twitter and Instagram as well. Okay, so until next time, have fun. <laughs>